It's a Dollar Tree Shay coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Great to see you again. Got a brand new razor courtesy of viewer Tim Whitcup. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Tim Whitcup, viewer Tim Whitcup, very, very kindly sent along this Dollar Tree razor. This is a buck and a quarter in Dollar Tree. It's a very, very uh, nice, simplistic uh, three-piece razor. The razor head is patterned after the Gillette uh, Tech razor head, and uh, that's it right there. And it is a very lightweight plastic handle. Seems to have some nice grip to it with these uh, grooves cut into it. Or, I don't know, some fluting, some channeling on the, uh, on the actual handle there. Rather nice. And also comes with five razor blades, safety razor blades, double edge razor blades right here. Doesn't say whether they're platinum coated or, or what. But uh, let's take a look at that right now. And I'm going to pull one out. Here it is right here. So we are going to use the blades that came with the razor. So, okay, so there, there's no, <laughs> there's uh, some labeling on the package, but nothing on the actual wrapper of the blade. It is the same color of the uh, case, though. But look at this, double wrapped. How about that? Let's load this into the blade right now. My thanks to Tim Whitcup again for very kindly sending this along. There's no labeling on the blade at all. So we're going to go ahead and just drop that onto the uh, cap there. And then uh, we're going to drop that base plate. Uh, this is a very, very thin stamping. Uh, the end tabs, uh, you can feel the end tabs uh, as you are uh, holding it right there. End tabs of the blade. So the end tabs of the blades are exposed a little bit. Okay. The blade balance and alignment seems to be very, very good. Very, very good. It's a very lightweight razor. There, it's it's going to be uh, heavy towards the head because the handle is so light. So that might that might make up for the light weight of it overall. The weight of the head might be doing a lot of the work during the shave. We'll see what happens. But we're going to do an all Dollar Tree shave with the with one exception. Uh, we're going to use the uh, Power Stick Shave Gel. This is their brand of uh, shaving cream. It's a shave gel. You don't use it with a brush. You just put some in your hands, rub it into your face, work it in, and then go ahead and shave. We're going to finish it off with their Power Stick Aftershave. I actually like I actually like both of these. I like this one a lot too. Very very um, uh, very nice uh, shave cream. Shave gel and aftershave at a really, really nice price point. That's what I meant to say. Uh, they also have this right here, Extra Care Aftershave, uh, original scent. Uh, the scent to me isn't that strong. Uh, let's get into the shave and we'll see. I think it's supposed to be a uh, um, like a skin bracer, perhaps. I'm not so sure if that's in the same ballpark as skin bracer, but that's what we're going to use. Uh, and I also am going to use my uh, Phoenix Shaving. Uh, Allen block, uh, but I wanted to use the uh, the Dollar Tree uh, ingredients here: the shave gel, the aftershave, the razor, the blade, just to demonstrate that if you're on the road and your luggage gets lost or whatever, and you need to get a shave before that big meeting or that big dinner or whatever it is, you can always run into a Dollar Tree and for a little bit of money get some get some pretty good shaving gear. Now I, I can't really pass judgment on this razor just yet. Their other razor, which was a twist-to-open razor with supposedly a stainless steel handle, and I think they used the same packaging for that. Some viewer mentioned that this backing here was probably used for this razor because it says right here, stainless steel handle, right there, if you can see that, stainless steel handle. So they were probably using the same backing from that razor to uh, package this razor. They're just putting a new, you know, bubble, bubble uh, covering onto it. 
Uh, so that's about it. Uh, no pre-shave or anything like that. We're just going to use the shave gel, the aftershave, the razor, the blade, a little bit of the aftershave. We're going to use the ball and the aftershave. Okay, that's what we're going to use. <laughs> let's just get to the shave, okay? Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Okay, enough of that, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of crossing my wires a little bit there. So we're just going to take about that much. Can you see that? That is a clear gel. And we're going to just work that into the face. I have two days worth of beard growth. So this is going to be a pretty good test for this razor. So that was a good amount there. And I've had this for about a year, the shaving gel and the aftershave ball. You can see it there, it's not bad. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off of my hands. If I need any more, I'll just get it from the tube. So we're gonna heat this up with hot water. So we're gonna do this under some hot, 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 hot water. All right. Here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's pretty rough. <laughs> I, gotta be, I gotta tell you, that's not as smooth as I'd like it. Yeah. Let me, let me throw some more shaving gel on there. It seems to be, it seems to be shaving, but Let's get a little more water here on my hands. Get a little more shaving gel here like this. Okay, I got a little more on there. A little, I don't know if you can see that. A little more on there, let's put a little more here. Okay. Okay, we are off to a rough start. I'm gonna leave some on this hand now. But I am gonna wipe it off that hand. Okay, here we go. That's better. That has smoothed it out. Well, there's some tugging right there in the chin though. And yeah, the razor head is still seems to be in place. Okay, let's see how it does on the upper lip here. Wow. A lot of tugging and pulling there. Wow. Now, you know what? I'm not going to be able to get through the shave with this, to be perfectly honest with you. There's a lot of tugging and pulling up there. Hang on one minute. Okay, <clears throat> let's get let's get some of this here. No, you know what? Actually, hang on one minute. Okay, let's get some of this. This is Shave Chaser. <laughs> yeah, and let's get my atomic rocket. Okay, and let's get some of this, and let's just throw this on here right now. Let's just load this brush up here, and let's just, whatever's on there we'll use as a pre-shave, and uh, whatever's left from that rinse, and we're just going to go ahead and load this brush up. Man, it just tugs and pulls a little too much. I don't think that shaving gel is doing its job. Now again, it's a year old, so maybe I should get a new, a new tube of it. Uh, but that really hasn't happened to to me with any other kind of shave gel. It's pretty good shave gel, really. Could be this blade. Now this will tell me. Okay. That's a scent. Okay. Especially gonna... And I know I've shaved those areas. I'm kind of lathering over it, but you know what? I might go over it again here. 
in the uh, first pass just to see. Okay. Okay. Boom! Lather! <laughs> Gives me an opportunity to do that too. All right. Okay, I don't have my brush scuttle here, so I'm just going to set it back in the container like that. Not in there. Okay, so here we go. Let's heat it up again. Okay. So let's continue under the lip and see what, what happens here. Now, you know what? This cream is really very, very good. But this razor is tuggy. It's dragging. It's pulling. It's not giving me a good shave. It's as if I've got a dull blade in there. Let me finish up with a uh, Wisimet Super Iridium blade right here. And let me take this blade, this Super Iridium blade, and let's put that into... Because uh, I want to I finish my shave. This is... Uh, yeah, this is doggone it. Uh, let's put it into, oh, you know what? I haven't used this guy in a while. Let's put it in this razor right here, okay? This is my Rex Supply Envoy razor. I'm going to put this Super Iridium, see the Super Iridium blade right there? Oh, it's upside down. Sorry about that. Here's the Super Iridium blade right here. There's my cap and base plate of my Envoy razor. From Rex Supply. Oh man, I like this a lot. Uh, I've got to be careful. My hands are slick. So i got to be careful with that razor head. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me just take this towel here like this and just snug that up there. There we go. This is also the longer handle, which gives this a little bit more length. Okay, so now, come on, let's finish up now. Okay, let's finish up now. Let's just, let's just do it like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's some cleanup there I have to do. And you can see right there, nick myself with that other razor. Okay, so we're just going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What a difference. Night and day. All right, let's set that aside. Okay, that's pass number one done. And boy, <laughs> what a trial on that one, huh? Let's rinse. All right. We're going to do a second pass here. A little bit more of a touch-up because this has been such a haphazard shave. Oh, my gosh. A lot of razors to pick from to do this cleanup here, but boy, I'm glad I picked the uh, the Envoy from Rick Supply with the longer handle. Marvelous razor. Marvelous razor. So yeah, there is a difference between a bargain razor like this one uh, and uh, this, uh, this top end razor. Now, you know, again, my thanks to Tim Whitkin for sending this along. Uh, he sent two. One is being given away as a prize. That one might work wonderfully. It might be a splendid razor. Uh, it's just the luck of the draw sometimes with these bargain razors. So, you know, we're going to have to uh, maybe put a different blade in there. I don't think it's so much the razor as it is the blade. I think the blade just does, doesn't do the job. Let's go past number two, east to west across the grain. Wow. I'm telling you, Rex Supply Envoy for the win. What a great, what a great razor. Wow. I'm telling you. Okay. So it seems to maybe have closed up a little bit. We'll see.
Oh, that's so much nicer on the on the on the upper lip. I mean, no tugging, no pulling, nothing. Oh man, is that knife! And I dare say the uh, this razor here probably would have worked fine with the shave gel. Uh, just a thought. Uh, but this razor, um, you know what, I, 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 again, these bargain razors just can be hit or miss. That's just the luck of the draw sometimes. All right, um, pass number two done, let's rinse. Okay, we're going to call this shave done because of the... Uh, the work of the supply, the Rex Supply uh, Envoy Razor. Boy, that did a nice job. That just really came to the rescue. And along with the Super Iridium Razor Blade. Yeah, that was nice. Two final rinses, one more, one cold. Okay, we're going to flip it to the cold water side. Okay, here's my cold water rinse. Alrighty, let's get this clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Here I thought it was going to be a, a quicker shave because of the shave gel and that sort of thing. But I guess not. But that's okay. It was still it was still a good close production productive shave courtesy of the Envoy razor. This razor I think is a good razor. I think that blade is the problem. So I'll be I'll be using this again, in uh, with a better blade, like say a, a super iridium blade, or a uh, platinum strange lip blade, or the Gillette Swedes. You know, some really nice blades, and I think this will do a very good job. That's my guess. I think the blade that comes with this is. I don't think it's very good. Uh, it, it, I'll have to shave with it again just to see. All right, uh, now here, here's my Ellen block right here. This, uh, you can see this guy right here. Okay, so this should take care of that. Yeah, that was just tugging and pulling. Okay, I got some, I got some zings there. It has to be expected, but no stinging at all. All right. Yeah, I got some zings here and there. Just from that, that blade. And also because I think I mounted to like a, maybe a three-pass shave because I, the, with, the, with the Envoy, I went over some areas that I already shaved and... That sort of thing. Okay, so here's my dry dock. Here's my album block. In there like that, let the air in the room do the rest of the work. I will show you the brush here. And look at that. Big difference. Uh, look at that. Nice peaks. Big difference without the uh, brush scuttle. Boy, the brush scuttle keeps this lather so nice and warm. And right now, it is cold. It is cold from sitting there. So, yeah, that would be, a, if I wanted to do this again, that would be a cold lather on my face. But that's okay if you're doing a cold shave, a cold, uh, you know, a cold shave, that's fine. But, um, uh, brush scuttle is really my favorite thing. Uh, okay, so you know what, let's use some of their aftershave here in the balm and we'll wrap up and call this shave, call this shave done. Okay, here we go. All right, let's pour a little bit on there like that and see what we get. Well, it's not a skin bracer kind of scent. It's very lightly scented. It's not off-putting. I think uh, people would find it uh, 
a nice and pleasant. Doesn't I don't think it's going to last very long. Here is the uh, power stick aftershave. Now I like this. I like this, and I also like the shave gel. I just think the razor blade was the um, was the uh, failed ingredient here uh, in this shave. There it is, right there. And we're going to put that upstairs and also on the face. Oh, this is nice. It's got a nice mint scent to it. Yeah, I like this a lot. Very, very different from the aftershave. So I think next time around, if I'm going to be using the shave gel and this razor with a better blade, I'll probably just opt for the aftershave balm. Well, it was a great shave with the Envoy. And uh, boy, just a not so great shave with this blade in this razor. Again, I think the razor is going to give me some good performance with a better blade. We'll see. This blade really, really came up short. It was like using a dull blade. It was tuggy. It was pulling. It was uh, really just, it resulted in a little bit of a nick there also. Uh, it was not comfortable at all. Tried putting more of the shave gel on there, as you saw. Now, this blade was not good at all. The next shave I do with this will be with a better blade. Platinum Strangelet from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, Wizomet, Super Iridium. Uh, what else do I have? Veloso, those are good blades. Uh, something along those lines. Gillette Swedes from Beth Jones. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to use with this razor. Again, it impresses me as a nice razor. I just don't think the blades are all that. Uh, my thanks to Tim Whitcup for uh, passing along. Tim, thank you very much. Also interested in knowing uh, what you thought of the razor, Tim, and the blade. Please let me know. Uh, please maybe maybe comment below and let us know what, you, uh, what your result was. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code NARC5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsplay.com for some great shaving gear. For all things barbers, check out Big Food Barbers. So I'll have the link below. Check out my Amazon product page, amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.